Hi guys, hope you are doing amazing. Last month, sometime I did place an order on Nike and picked few things. Some of them are repurchases, some of them are new. And uh, um, these are the products I was eyeing for a long time, and I really wanted to add them to my collection. Everything that is there in this box is not the one-time order. I did place few orders, but just to save time, I unboxed and put everything here in this one box. So I'm not sure if you can tell, but there are a lot of products here. I'm going to pick the products and show them to you in no particular order. So the first product I have right here is this Innisfree My Hair Recipe Moisturizing Oil Serum. So I have very frizzy hair. I was using um, L'Oreal Extraordinaire Hair Serum, I think since last August. And the bottle is done now and I was looking for a new hair serum so I thought let's pick this one. So this is for 990 and uh, this is how the bottle looks like. I have already used it twice so far and uh, it's it's an like it's a good serum but I think it's very very similar to the one I was using earlier. It would be too early to say anything about it but I'm sure I'm going to talk about this product in brief in probably one of my monthly favorites let's hope next thing is this Nivea's naturally good deodorant so Nivea has launched this line where the products have 95% ingredients uh, of natural origin this is, has 5% essential ingredients I don't know this is a new line that they have launched I got very curious and I picked this one this is in the fragrance green tea it has a very very faint fragrance I have already used it thrice I told you this box is lying there in my mom's house for the past two weeks. I'm not sure how good antiperspirant it is because it's not mentioned anywhere that it's going to uh, make you less sweaty and uh, it doesn't feel tingly or cool or anything. It feels alright and it doesn't have a very strong fragrance. Now the third product is going to be this Bioderma Etoderm Intensive Balm. This is my third purchase, not this year. But I buy it every year. This is a 200 ml tube. It's an expensive product. This is for 1300 for 200 ml. You can use it on your face, on your body. If you have very dry skin like me, I have very dry skin. You don't really need too much. It's not sticky. It's not goopy. It's not thick. It is very light but it is very, very moisturizing. I really love this product. It is fragrance free. Bioderma makes some of the best products. And I have another product from Bioderma, which is something I have not tried earlier. So I have picked the another product from the Etoderm range. This is Intensive Pain. This is a body soap. I thought why not pair body lotion with the body soap. And this soap is 150 grams and it is priced at Rs. 340. I have not used it yet. I was saving it for the video. Now I have also bought this heat protecting from the Tresemme. I looked for this everywhere. I searched Nike, Amazon and finally found it on Flipkart. This is for Rs. 750. I have already used it thrice so far. And I also saw Sohini Chanda, another YouTuber using this one. So I thought, you know, let's pick this. Now I do not have any skincare with me. No skincare, no hair care. Everything here is makeup. So let's start with the first product. So Body Shop launched their bronzer. And this is their coconut bronze. I was really interested and really happy because if you are a long time subscriber, you might have seen me using their honey bronzer for a really long time. I really, really love that bronzer. And this time they launched this bronzer and it comes in this cute tin. As you can see, it looks really cute. It also has a puff. I'm not sure what are you supposed to do with a puff. You cannot apply bronzer with a puff. You are getting 9 grams of product in this and the color looks nice though it looks a bit red to me. I have not used it yet. I am thinking of doing a first impressions of the haul. Let me know if you would be interested in seeing a first impression of everything I have bought in one video. And this is the bronzer. I am going to swatch it. Uh, this is how it looks. It looks pretty red. So this is a darkest shade. And it looks very pigmented. So I'm not sure how is it going to look on me, but I'm pretty excited. And this does smell like coconuts. I really like the tin. It is expensive. <laughs> it is for almost $1514.95. Next, I picked this Pro Art uh, blush brush. Uh, this is focused blush brush. I will be honest. I was expecting slightly denser brush than this. 
this is not very dense i think i already have a similar brush in my uh, collection this is for rupees 575 i i'm sure i bought it on some discount i would not pay 600 for this kind of a small brush uh, it will be good for applying blush if you have uh, if you want the blush to be concentrated on one area this will be a really nice brush and you can also use it for contouring if you still do it and can also be used to apply powder under your eyes a brush with a small head is a good multitasking brush you can use it in multiple ways i am already using some brushes from proart and i find the quality nice very comparable to pack so the pricing is also almost similar to pack but there are a lot of brushes that are not that expensive so i think this is a nice brush i will use it and let you guys know so i ended up picking few products from swiss beauty so this is their loose powder and i picked it in the shade translucent i really like the packaging it's very pretty and once you open there is a sponge and here is the oh this is nice so here is the sponge and here you have additional layer additional cap that will protect the powder from flying everywhere so this is a translucent powder and it is very smooth and it does look translucent and i really like the idea of having a separate lid which ensures uh, that you don't mess it up so i was amazed to see that swiss beauty has finally launched concealers in six shades so as usual with indian brands i always pick the darker color the darkest shade because that generally is my shade but i was wrong this time the shade number 6 is very dark so i picked shade number 5 as well the so shade number 6 is desert suede which will be good for contouring for me or for bronzing up my face because as you can see it is very dark and the concealer has this sponge tip applicator i definitely tried it on my hand and as you can see this is the shade it is very dark and shade number 5 is stark nude which is a perfect match for me it is not light or anything it is just the right shade for my skin and uh, i have already used it once see this is the shade that is sweet no stark nude and i have already used it once and i would love to do a demo for you let me know if you want a dedicated review on these concealers next i picked this maxi blush from rimmel I was eyeing these blushes for a really long time. It's in the shade Wild Card. It looks pretty dark in the pan, but on the hand, it is a very beautiful mauvey pink color. So it looks very nice. It's a beautiful bigger pan, and you are getting nine grams of product, which is a lot. Next, I picked two Miss Claire Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I was seeing them on YouTube. I have picked two shades. one is 01 which is this one which looks like a very dark brown i'll show you the swatch i looked at the swatches on the hand on the website and thought this will be a nice color but it is pretty dark see this is very dark this is like a dark brown it looks nice and these lipsticks feel absolutely airy on lips You, they do not have that stretchy, drying feeling. Very nice, beautiful formula. I was tempted to buy a lighter shade. I'll be a lighter shade. I'll be honest, but I did not pick it because I was not sure whether I need more lipsticks. Because I can always mix and match other lipsticks, other lip colors with these, and it will serve the purpose. Then I have shade number fourteen, which looks like a very beautiful berry tone color. I've already tried it on. and it looked absolutely smashing this is the kind of color you will see me wearing most of the time this is the color this lipstick is for 395 rupees i have also picked uh, an eyeliner from swiss beauty this is their uh, bold tip felt tip eyeliner and this is how the packaging looks like i think it looks beautiful i have not used it but this looks very black and it's not very liquidy and it has dried already it looks very nice and i love a good felt tip because i am really bad with the brush tip eyeliner next i have picked three products from balm uh, not three i picked two and one came as a gift with purchase so i saw sneha sains um uh, reel on instagram she is with the name 5 feet 5 
and I really love the color because this is the kind of shade I use. This is a beautiful mauvey dusty pink as you can see. This is big date blush and you are getting 6.5 gram and look at the packaging it is so beautiful and vintagey. I was super happy see such shades look very natural if your skin tone is very close to mine then I also picked the creamy lip stain and this is in the shade Namaste <laughs> I'm sure the name attracted me and this is how the packaging looks like it is very very vintagey that's the feel you get when you look at the balm products this is the color Namaste and it looks so beautiful on me this is a perfect rosy pink color and if you are very close to me this will look like your best everyday color the only challenge is it's not going to last on your lips for a long time on my lips it lasted like what three and a half hours i also got this free this mascara this is cheater mascara the baham cheater mascara i have not used it yet i will not use it now because i really want to finish up the one the two i'm using i'm using Legend lashes from Huda Beauty and the Lakme Iconic so I want to use them for another one or two months and then I'll open this one up not before that then I did not have any good lip liner I'm lying I already have I have Fame from K Beauty which is my current favorite lip liner which is what I have on my lips right now before you start asking I'm going to mention uh, the lipstick I have on is from uh, Lime Prime Plus I mixed Nude Umbrella from Lakme's Matte Melt Mini. It's a mix of two colors and one lip liner. So it's actually a mix of three different colors. So yeah. Ooh. It's a very very beautiful mauve nude. Oh my god. I thought it will be a brown. Like a rusty brown. I don't know why. Because I saw swatches and it looked like a rusty brown. But as you can see. It is a very beautiful mauve color and I'm sure this is going to be my go-to color because I love such colors I really love and this comes with a sharpener and then I bought the eyelash adhesive the lash fixer from pack why I bought this I have no idea but the thing is sometimes see I don't wear false lashes I find them very uncomfortable and very heavy I wanted to have lash glue if in case I decide to buy, buy, if in case I decide to wear lashes, then I bought two nail polishes from Lynn. It was a set. And believe me, when this package arrived, I was like, it's much shorter than Why is this so small? I have two shades. This is Marvelicious. This one is Marvelicious. And this is Irish Coffee. So this is my kind of color. And I recently started wearing such kind of purple mauve colors they look beautiful i bought this vented brush from val um, i have read about the vented brushes a lot that these minimize the heat damage because there are vents so heat escapes and distributes in your hair evenly so this is from Bahal. i already have uh, uh, an air dryer air dryer blow dryer <laughs> i think i'm hungry so I have already bought a blow dryer from Bahal and it works beautifully. So I thought let's try another product. So this is the product I was super excited about. This is Revlon Pro Collection Salon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. So this is the product here. And I, I saw Alan Truman's this blow dry brush uh, <coughs> in a lot of videos. But for some reasons, I was not convinced. Don't ask me why. I was not convinced. It was a gut feeling. Then I saw Revlon's blow dry brush in an Insta reel. And then on a, then a video. Then I watched a couple of YouTube videos. And I was convinced that this is the one I want to buy. For some reason, I don't know. I picked this one. And I'm so happy with my purchase. I've already used it twice. This is brilliant. This gives you sleeker hair. In no time, my hair is wavy, so they are not extremely curly or so. So it's not very difficult for me to blow dry them. I use this on my air dried hair. I don't use it on my wet hair because then it might break my hair a lot. Because this is a brush and if you pull and pull and straight your hair while they are wet, you will end up with a lot of hair falls. So I use it on my dry hair. So I air dry my hair and then I use it. It takes less than 15 minutes. 
and you get beautiful, nice, voluminous and frizz free hair. Let me know. I would love to do a video and demo of this brush probably next week sometime. So just let me know in the comments if you really want me to do a video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. If you are watching me for the first time, please subscribe. And I'll see you very very soon in my next video. Till then, take care and bye.